There seems to be a revolution in Africa, from coups to African leaders' speeches at the UN General Assembly. Ghana's president said the UN is an unfair organization. The DR Congo's president called for the swift withdrawal of UN peacekeepers from Eastern DRC. South Africa's president blasted the West to stop funding wars and fight poverty instead. Zimbabwe's president says the West is funding wars and coups. Malawi and Zambian presidents have mentioned that the World Bank is robbing Africa through high interest loans, and the Central African Republic and Nigeria's presidents have accused the West of plundering in Africa, thereby causing migrant crisis. Rwanda's president has blasted the West, saying that he will run for office next year and doesn't care what they think. One speech that stands out is Guinea's interim president's speech. Addressing the United Nations General Assembly this Thursday, Guinea's interim president, Mamadi Doumbouya, said that the recent coups in Africa are attempts by militaries to save their countries from President's broken promises. He rebuffed the West for boxing on the continent of more than one billion people. Colonel Mamadi Doumbouya, who was sworn in as Guinea's interim president following the coup in 2021, told the UN General Assembly that beyond condemning the coups, global leaders must also look to and address the deep-rooted causes. He told the gathering of world leaders in New York that the putschist is not only the person who takes up arms to overthrow a regime. I want us all to be well aware of the fact that the real putschists, the most numerous, are those who avoid any condemnation. They are those who cheat to manipulate the text of the Constitution in order to stay in power eternally. Guinea is one of several nations in West and Central Africa that have experienced eight coups since 2020, including Niger and Gabon in recent months. The military takeovers, sometimes celebrated by citizens in those countries and condemned by international organizations in foreign countries, have raised concern about the stability of the continent, whose young population of at least 1.3 billion is set to double by 2050 and make up a quarter of the planet's population. Most of the coups in West Africa were followed by tensed relations between the military juntas and France, as the people want the French out of their countries. Guinea's president, Colonel Dambuya, accused some leaders in Africa of clinging to power by any means, mostly by amending the constitution to the detriment of their people. Dambuya led soldiers in Guinea to depose former President Alpha Conde in the September 2021 coup to prevent the country from slipping into complete chaos. He said the situation was similar in other countries hit by coups and was a result of broken promises, the lethargy of the people, and leaders tampering with constitutions with the sole concern of remaining in power to the detriment of collective well-being. Dambuya also rebuffed attempts by the West and other developed countries to intervene in Africa's political challenges, saying that Africans are exhausted by the categorizations with which everyone wants to box them in. We Africans are insulted by the boxes, the categories, which sometimes place us under the influence of the Americans and sometimes under that of the British, the French, the Chinese, and the Turks, the Guinean leader said. Today, the African people are more awake than ever and more than ever determined to take their destiny into their own hands. This is true, as we've seen coups in Mali, Burkina Faso, and Niger that led to the removal of Western allies from power. Although the leader of Guinea defended military takeovers worldwide, there are still questions about how well they work to address the problems that allegedly prompted them to intervene. The Islamic State group nearly doubled the area it controls in Mali, where soldiers have been in charge since 2020, according to UN experts. Additionally, Burkina Faso, which experienced two coups in 2020, saw a slowdown in economic growth to 2.5% in 2022 from a strong 6.9% the year prior. Nigeria's president, Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who doubles as the chairman of ACAWAS, and Senegal's president, Macky Sall, said that they're hopeful that diplomatic talks are still possible with the Niger Chunta. This is what they said at the UN General Assembly after Ikawas gave the Niger Chunta a deadline to reinstate ousted President Bazoum. Just like Tinubu said, the many coups in parts of Africa do not demonstrate favor towards coups. It is a demand for solutions to perennial problems. What do you think of Daumbuya's speech at the UN General Assembly? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.
Make sure you like this video, share it with friends and family, and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our exciting videos. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in our next video.